Hey guys, I am here today to tell you how to read batch codes for Estee Lauder products. So I mentioned in one of my older videos um, about reading batch codes for Estee Lauder products, though that company is just super easy to read. Um, but if you have another company, go to checkcosmetics.net and they have like all the Lancome and L'Oreal products. Um, I don't know, I can't think of the other brands they have, but they have a whole list of it. They don't have every single brand on there, but it's a good list and it calculates it for you. But if you learn how to read the Estee Lauder codes, it's, it's really quick and easy. Like you can even do it when you're in the store. So Estee Lauder brands just, and they're, so it's all Estee Lauder brands. Estee Lauder brands include Estee Lauder, obviously, Mac, Clinique, Origins, Bobby Brown, Tom Ford, Smashbox. I'm sure I'm missing some. They own a lot. It's anything you would find at the cosmetics company outlet store because that outlet store is only for Estee Lauder products, if that makes sense. So um, I'm just going to do two examples for you just to show you because I think that's a bit easier than just trying to explain it. This is a MAC lipstick in the shade Flamingo. Now if you can see, it's probably backwards, but it says under the word Flamingo, it says A, A24. So the first letter, A, is letting you know which individual batch this product, which this, this product was made from. I'm sorry, I'm losing my words today. Okay, so we know if it's an A, it's the first batch. If it's B, it's the second batch. C, it's the third batch. Okay. The second letter, or the second character, is a digit between one and nine, or it could be A, B, or C. That lets you know what month it was manufactured in. So this one is a two, so it's February. So if it was three, it would be March. If it was an A, it would be October, because October is the 10th month. So after nine for September, it would be A for October, B for November, and C for December. And then the last spot is a four. That lets you know the last digit, it's the year that it was made. So four is 2014. So hopefully you don't keep your products more than 10 years because then it might not work for you. You don't know if it's 2014 or 2004, but this is 2014 because I haven't had it over 10 years. So that's how you read the batch codes. It's super easy. So the most important one is the year that's the last one. And the four will tell you it's 2014. A five would tell you it's 2015. Six would be 2016 you get the drift. The second one is the month that it was made. And then the first character is to let you know which individual batch in that month that the product came from. Just to do another example for you, this is on the box and it will be on the box as well as the product. So you can actually look at the boxes in stores and see how old they are, which I found helpful at times. So Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, it says A55 on that box. So A tells us it was the first batch of that month. Five tells us it was made in May. The second five tells us it was made in 2015. So this Clinique Bottom Wash Mascara was made in, was the first batch made in May 2015. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm definitely not the first person to make a video on this on YouTube, but I thought I would just throw it out there because especially with the Estee Lauder codes, it's super easy to read and it covers, you know, the MAC products, Bobbi Brown, Clinique, Smashbox, Tom Ford. And I think it's on the fragrances too. It should be on, I think it's on the fragrances that Estee Lauder makes as well. So if you have an Estee Lauder